Let's get Otto. to Get out of the shot. Right, we should guys. get Otto in the shot. Yeah, we should. Give me a little bit of background on that song. You rearranging no, furniture over there? I, don't think I mean, dude, seriously. No, can we talk about this? Trying to be professional over here. I'll come over there. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So Too Soon was written, uh, it was actually written on the day my wife came and told me she was pregnant. So I was, I was sitting in the house and she came in and she's like, um, I'm pregnant, you know. We had and plans. We had, we, we did have, we had big plans. So, um, she told me too and I was pretty upset. You know, I think I, I think I mentioned earlier, we, you know, sometimes life comes in and just kind of like slaps you in the face. And this was one of those moments where I got a giant bucket of water just dumped on me. Um, you know, and uh, as much as everybody wants kids, they're an enormous responsibility. And when you live a life like ours, it's just kind of, you know, it, it's just another layer. Some people manage it well. Some people have like five kids. I've never been one of those people that have like five kids and still manage to keep it together. You know what I'm saying? So. There's more. Oh God! I feel like I was in a good vein there before you started whispering in my ear. So anyway, so we had this, you know, we had this moment, and while I was super excited inside, I also knew the the amount of commitment and work and all those other things, and it really wasn't kind of uh, we had planned, but this wasn't the moment, right, for this particular thing to be taken off, and so the whole song is about. Uh, too soon. So I, I went to my room and I have all this emotional stuff and that's what I do whenever I have emotional moments in my life, I write. So uh, it actually came out, it's more of a, it's, it's more of a, it's a song about, uh, it's, it's a song about love and relationships, but I think if anybody that's been in a relationship for a long enough period of time, you, uh, you realize that love is not really that Instagram candy sparkly thing. Love is work, love takes time, and love changes uh, with the seasons of our lives. And so that song is really about that. It's about um, everything from when I was young, and I try to capture that kind of tumultuous feeling when you first fall in love with somebody. Uh, but then as you get older, love becomes something different, and love ultimately becomes, um, uh, the way that we express it becomes, uh, becomes vastly different. The whole song kind of takes us through, um, I, I met my wife in a, in a bar in San Antonio, and so the opening line, I'm talking about meeting in bars and growing up in bars together. And sometimes you'll promise people the moon because you, you have that real, um, that real energetic feeling, you know, when you first fall in love, you do anything for these people, right? And so you're just willing to promise them the world. And that really became the hook is, is that, and that was really the kind of the story of our relationship was me just sitting there and just, I was just like, you know, I don't know how we're gonna do all this. I don't know how we're gonna keep all this together, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. And so it was kind of became a mantra of ours and a promise. And I just kind of, uh, I, I was sitting in there when I wrote that song, I was just kind of honing back in to that particular moment. And uh, it turned out really good because I think it's another one of those relatable things, right? That, that people have, I think everybody's, or I hope everybody has a chance to fall in love in their lifetime. And uh, I think we've all kind of been through those different seasons, but, um, well, you know, that's not what the song's about at all. Really? I mean, I know you wrote it, but it, it, that's not what it means to me. I've, that's good. No, I, I'm interested to hear your take, John. Man, mine is more from a scientific angle. I, the way I see it, and you talk about your relationship in the beginning, and you are such an OCD type A person about everything. I mean, you, you, you try to come off as not. That's right? completely unfair. It's not unfair. It's accurate. And uh, I think that... The, the take home message to the song was biology yeah. always wins. Oh, it really and does. To me, it's like, despite all your best plans, no matter how you might plan out, you're gonna do things and put them, you're gonna put circles and circle holes and squares and square holes. Mm. Biology always takes over. This is this is science. This is the way it works. But I think ultimately there's like a redemptive quality to all of that. I think that life has a way of just like punching you in the face, and you actually grow up. You become bigger and better people for it. Um, and so it's it's a uh, it's a it's a love it's a love song at the very very core, John. It's a science song. It's a science. It's a love of science song, John. Uh, all right, we can agree on that. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. We love science and Greek mythology in this band. But the cool thing about the song was there's um, it changes i think it's our most musically challenging song yeah the the tempo of the song there's there's time signature changes that happen yeah kind of key changes a little bit there for a second there's like three chords too it's a big it, there's, a, there's a key <laughs> change there. it was one of those things it kind of it kind of turned out really really well whenever we were in the we're in the in the studio recording it and without and, a click track and so it was mm -hmm. a little bit 
kind of squirrely. And my and my my drummer is the best at. Um, he brings a lot of energy, and I'll write a song. Every song I write starts out as a ballad, and then he'll be like, "That's cool, man, but let's play it at this tempo." And when we picked up the tempo on the song, it became just something else, and it completely changed the tenor of the entire uh, of the entire song. And so um, that was really cool. And when you let other people in on the projects and things that you're working on, you come out with something that's ultimately a whole lot better than what you walked in with. And like some people think the song is about different things and they can be wrong about what it's about, but you don't want them to feel bad. So you just keep your mouth shut whenever they start rambling about science during an interview and you just kind of let them go with it. You know what I'm saying? No. That's the way it happens. Love of science. Maybe. <laughs>